Uh, let's start cooking. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to make a special French toast. And I'm doing this for two reasons. One, as you can see and as you can hear, I have a terrible head cold and this is one of the things that I cook myself when I'm feeling really terrible. Um, and it sort of gives me a bit of a lift. Um, secondly, with Mother's Day tomorrow here in Australia, and I think also in the US, it's kind of a nice, nice dish that you might like to do for mum. It's probably a bit sweet for the morning, although if your mum has a sweet tooth, it would be perfect, but certainly as a part of an afternoon snack or certainly as a dessert, it is fantastic. So what I'll do is I'll run through the ingredients and then we'll start cooking. So first of all, I use two eggs. Now normally I use my own chicken eggs but I've bought free range organic eggs um, because our chickens aren't laying and I can tell you now that if they don't start laying very shortly it will be chicken soup and roast chicken on the menu in the oven household next week. Get it girls? Um, you also need um, some vanilla. Now I use this. I use a um, vanilla paste. Um, it is expensive, but that's because I do. A, I use it because I do a lot of cooking. Um, certainly, uh, a vanilla extract or essence is perfectly fine. Uh, don't use the synthetic stuff because it, it gives the French toast a really awful taste. And going to the trouble of making something to make you feel good, you don't want it to be horrid. Uh, you will need some cinnamon. This is what I keep my cinnamon in. You will need caster sugar. You will need olive, uh, sorry, uh, oil. I use sunflower. You can use any oil except olive oil. You will need butter, just a tad. And you will need strawberries. Now, if you don't like strawberries, you could use um, any other type of berry, anything that you would make a coolie sauce with. So uh, plums would go nice, um, mango, that sort of thing. So if you really um, don't want to use strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, any type of berry or stone fruit, apricots would be good as well. Um, you will also need a dish that is large enough to fit your bread in for dunking into the egg wash and a bowl for putting some sugar in that we... Um, pat sugar on it at the end. Um, you will also need bread. I use brioche. You don't have to. Any um, bread, white bread preferably, but seeded, wholemeal, you can use anything. I wouldn't use any dark breads. They tend to not make good French toast, so um, bear that in mind. But the staler, the better. Um, and that way it doesn't soak up too much of the egg and make it a bit sloppy. Of course, if um, sloppy French toast is what you like, then use the freshest bread you can find. Um, you will need a cutting board and a knife, um, and you will also need one of these, um, and that is about, oh, you'll need the stove top, obviously, so a nice big fry pan or skillet, um, and some heat to go underneath it, and with that, without any further ado, I think we will begin. Okay, guys, if I sneeze in the middle of this, I do apologise. As I said, I have got a bit of a head cold and I am a bit like Snot City at the moment. So um, first things first is I um, cut and um, quarter my strawberries. Um, wash your strawberries first, obviously. I don't need to go through husbandry with you guys, I'm sure. But if I have some young viewers who are wanting to do something special for mum and are not au fait, wash your strawberries first. Obviously, well not obviously, it's probably not obvious, but when you do wash your strawberries, don't core and hull them first, wash them whole. Once you take this thing off, if you get water in there, it dilutes the flavour and that's the last thing you want. The good thing about this dish with the strawberries, if you have strawberries that are like this, you know, that uh, look like strawberries but aren't the colour of strawberries. It's perfect because what we're going to do is we're going to macerate the strawberries in the sugar and a little bit of lemon juice and uh, it brings out the strawberry flavour. So it, um, yeah, really good. 
So once you have cut up all your strawberries, you put them into your jug, just like, you know, so, as I said. Oh, I'm sorry about the sniffing, guys. It's terrible. Uh, I add, oh, I'll grab a spoon, actually. I add two to three tablespoons of caster sugar. If you don't have caster sugar, um, icing sugar is certainly fine. And then, and something I didn't actually include in the ingredients list, which you need. I'm sorry, as I said, I'm not on feeling like absolute. God, oh, you can't say the word I'm feeling. Well, I suppose you can, but it depends on your viewer type. Um, so what I do is I put half a lemon juice, the juice of half a lemon, shall I say, in the jug, like so. Um, and the idea is that we're going to make a sauce and this is going to form the major part that makes this French toast feel like, this is going to form what makes um, the French toast feel like a donut. So what I'll do is I'll blitz this off camera so that I don't deafen your delicate little ears and I'll come back to you. So as you can see that's it done now. So it's all nice and blended and it's really thin and fine like a sauce and that's exactly what you want. So now we're going to head to the stove top. Okay, so here we are at my stove top. So what I have is I have a nice large pan and I do this because I like to cook my pieces all at once instead of um, one after the other. But of course, if um, that's what you need to do because you've only got a small pan, it's not going to make much difference. Okay, so first I put heat under my pan. So me medium heat's fine. And while that's heating up, I put a little bit of butter in the pan. When I say a little bit of butter, like a tablespoon of butter. And a little bit of oil. Now the reason why we do this, uh, butter with the oil, is so that the butter doesn't burn. Um, we don't want the burnt butter taste with this. It doesn't taste very nice. Okay, so while that's heating up and the butter is melting, in my dish, and I might just move... I feel like my boobs are doing a tutorial today. It's really, I am sorry, it's not that. Oh, God. Um, all right, so crack the eggs. And then I get rid of that. Second egg. Perfect. You still can't see, can you? It's just, so maybe if I put it here. There we go. Um, and then a quarter teaspoon of your vanilla. Now I'm using the paste. As I said, you can use essence um, or uh, extract. Now I use a teaspoon of milk. I can do this because I've been cooking for a while. Teaspoon, two, a teaspoon of milk for, sorry, a tablespoon of milk for every um, egg that you add. So if you're doing a mass one, so you're doing this as a dessert for everyone, you would use more so you increase it so all you do is you whisk together and you want to whisk it well enough that um, the egg yolk and the, oh god the egg white is together I'm just it's just not happening today peeps I tell you um, I'm sorry about sniffing just be thankful I haven't started sneezing yet so so this is what it will look like Okay, so it's nice and combined, combined. Um, so we get said bread and we dunk. So it's just like normal French toast in this respect, except we've, we've put a little bit of um, vanilla in it. Oh, my God. So put that one in the pan and then add the next one. Yes, that's my dishwasher going in the background. I'm sorry, I'm a mother. I work full time. I do the dishes when I can. Okay, so that goes in there like so. Now, as you can see, I've got tons of milk, um, egg wash left over, so I could probably do, because the, the brioche is smaller than um, normal. There we go. Oh, look, the boobs have a face. 
Okay, um, so what we do is we cook this until it's golden. And while we, this is cooking and, and getting all nice and brown and toasty and great, um, what we do is we now prepare our little sugar bath for it. So in our bowl, we put some more caster sugar, just enough that you want to dredge your bread, flatten it out. And then I add a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. You can leave the cinnamon out. If you're someone who doesn't enjoy cinnamon, just leave it out. It doesn't do anything. It just, for me, it, it heightens the flavour. And then I just stir it around so that the cinnamon is evenly distributed. Like so. Again, don't use it if you don't want to. Next thing, we're going, la, 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 la. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to flip the bread. Okay, so I have just flipped the bread. We're just waiting for that to happen. So I thought I'd just have a bit of a, a chat. Why not? Um, about, you know, Mother's Day tomorrow. Um, something that's special for most of us that are mothers. And even if you haven't got human children, if you have fur kids or... Uh, you assist in other ways that make you a nurturer, then Mother's Day is an important day for you also. So what are, do you have expectations about Mother's Day or is it just a day that you don't want to have to do housework or you just want to feel a bit special? My kids are young enough that, um, well, at least one of them is young enough that Mother's Day is really special. Um, he's been excited since Friday night uh, when he made his things at school ready for it. My oldest child, my adorable daughter who's 13, um, you know, a bit over it all. Sorry, had to sneeze. Um, yeah, so I'd be interested to hear what, you know, Mother's Day means for you and what, if you have any traditions with your own mother or mother-in-law. Um, my mother is no longer with us, so for me, um, it's not that it's a bittersweet day, it's been a while since my mother passed away, but it certainly brings to the realisation again that, you know, my mother's not here, but I have an adorable and wonderful mother-in-law, so um, she certainly um, has assisted where my mother has not been able to. So it's fantastic. Anyway, enough of the gobbledygook. This is just about ready to pull out of the pan, so I'll show you what we do next. All right, so I'm gonna turn the heat off and we've got our mix here. So what I do is I put my bread in there and with my trusty tongs, if you don't wanna use your fingers, just sort of wiggle it around in the mix and then do the same on the other side. You might have to flip it back and forth a bit, depending on how sugary you really want it. Um, oh, that sniffing is quite awful. So then I just delicately plot it on the plate, bang it on, however you you know see it fit. Second piece in. So again, wiggle, 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 wiggle. No, I'm not going to sing. Don't worry have the hair for it anyway My super sexy voice today okay so just flip it back and forth just spread some over there like so okay so place it on the plate and then I'll go and get our coolie all right I thought I'd bring it over here so you can see it a bit better God, camera shy today okay so what do I do <laughs> oh dear. Is I just, this is this, and this is what turns it into from normal sweet French toast to, as I said, the donut French toast. This is like a jam, and I just pour it over like so. Just use the, and there you have it. So hopefully you can see that. I mean, it doesn't look so appetising on this plate, but I'll take it over the table and you can see, and it really is, I'm looking forward to it. I can feel myself 
sort of feeling better as we speak. Okay, so here we have it. It's, um, that look, there, look at that. You can see that way better. Maybe I'll turn it that way so that it runs the other way. Look at that. Now, this is what I say is a bit of a treat. Not what I would say the best dietary requirement for you. However, it does meet the five food groups. Triangle might just be upside down. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'd like to thank my boobs for being centre stage today. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and please feel free to subscribe. Uh, next week, hopefully I am feeling a whole lot better and I'll have something far, far fantastic for you. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you enjoy your day and you feel spoiled. And for all of you that are participating in Mother's Day, remember to love your mother every day of the week every week of the month and every month of the year not just for the one day so see you guys and above all have fun ciao do you want to try some mm -hmm. do you want some extra sauce um okay ready here comes the choo-choo train uh -huh. do you like it really cool. it is nice isn't it now enjoy oh pardon for reaching they told you. Fantastic.